So I'm sure everyone must be targeting this college through your CET examination. It is one of the top law college in Mumbai, Maharashtra, located in Churchgate, heart of the Mumbai. Audio Jungle. Hi guys, welcome to Manuel. Welcome to the another podcast with the principal of KC Law College, Dr. Kavita Ma'am. Hello Ma'am. Hi. So Ma'am will be guiding you with regards to the career in law and she will be shortly talking about the, what are the placement available in the KC Law College and other part also like industry radian etc etc. So always I talk about the, how to prepare for the CET, how to crack CET, how to talk, uh, prepare for the logical is the legal section. But today we will be talking about career in law and uh, that will be guided by Kavita ma'am. So ma'am, very first, uh, thank you for giving your valuable time for this conversation. It's, it's always a pleasure for my invitation to interact with the students' experience of uh, this law degree. Okay, so before we start ma'am, please can you introduce uh, about the college, say something about the college. Yeah, this uh, our KC Law College, it is situated at uh, south part of our Mumbai and well known reputed college in the city of Mumbai and this college is very soon going to complete 70 years and uh, this college uh, offering LLB 3 year course as well LLM uh, 2 years course and uh, very recently we have also started with the PhD research center in the college and I am really pleased to inform you that we are the first law college under University of Mumbai to start this course that is PhD in law at a Mumbai University. Despite these regular courses, we also do have certificate courses for the students for their professional growth. Okay, okay. So I'm sure everyone must be targeting this college through your CT examination. It is one of the top law college in Mumbai, Maharashtra, located in Churchgate, heart of the Mumbai. So one by one we have a detailed discussion. So starting with the first question ma'am, why should one pursue law? Yes, I think uh, law course is very very important in today's time because that uh, talks about your intellectual challenge which you can think of, a student can think of and the professional growth which you see in this course despite that the job opportunities, the job securities and I think the, uh, also we can think of uh, the financial stability okay. which a student get because immediately after finishing or even while pursuing the law they get good opportunities from different fields. So I think uh, and, uh, apart from this I think one should know about the law because even though you are working in some other sector which is not related to law, mm -hmm. you still having the legal knowledge gives you an upper hand and also give you an analytical skill for this okay. part. Okay, okay. Continuing with the opportunity uh, kind of uh, answer, there is a common dilemma like a uh, student have, I am from science background so I cannot pursue law. Is there not, anything else? Not like that because myself also I, I would say I did my BSc degree and after finishing my BSc degree uh -huh. I joined this law and I am really enjoying it so nothing like that. I think any stream can do LLB 3 year course. Of course for 5 year you need to plan immediately mm -hmm. after 12 right. but 3 year degree course any stream will do. And we get the clarity after graduation you know more clarity. I should opt for this career. Right. So I think uh, further in this case, I feel like uh, if a person, uh, for example, as you are saying BSc, mm -hmm. so after BSc also I feel personally that uh, analytical aptitude is really enhanced with this. Uh, Correct. So that really helps the student to further take the things into law stream. Mm -hmm. As you know, the cyber law nowadays is a trend, uh, artificial intelligence we talk about. Mm -hmm intellectual property rights where we are talking about uh, patent, we are talking about uh, uh, the copyright and other issues. So these, these these things are also related to science field. Person from technology can very well understand about the artificial intelligence and that person I suppose comes into this field will really do wonders. Not only this, even when we talk about forensic science, that is also I feel you know the person is having science background knows the things about the basic knowledge 
सो एंड बेसिक नॉलेज प्लस दिस लीगल नॉलेज एडेड लीगल नॉलेज विल हेल्प द पर्सन वेन ही इज प्रैक्टिसिंग आई मीन वेन ही इज आर्ग्यूंग बिफोर द कोर्ट ऑफ लॉ टू अंडरस्टैंड द डॉक्यूमेंट विच रियली हेल्प सो आई डोंट थिंक द बी एस सी डिग्री द बी एस सी डिग्री होल्डर स्टूडेंट्स कैन नॉट परस्यू द लॉ राधर दैट विल बी अ ग्रेट एसेट फॉर द स्टूडेंट so next question is very interesting and important also and this is from the student side why one should join kc law college <laughs> i think uh, kc law college they should join uh, the reasons what i feel personally is we have uh, well trained and uh, highly qualified teaching staff and we are uh, more uh, i would say focused for the students growth for the students development we have a very rich library on fourth floor if we look at our infrastructure four floors are for kc law college that to as you said then the heart of mumbai city in this area of chelsea area that is also added advantage uh, to this college apart from this uh, if i tell you that from last many years the college is getting uh, consistently ranking in the different magazines like uh, i can say like uh, corporate uh, this uh, csr then uh, india today week magazine and all other magazines from many years we are getting rankings for this college and many places we have seen uh, kc law college is the only law college in mumbai city getting the rankings in few magazines so i think this is an achievement getting ranking for this kc law college at national level and as i said that we focus for the students growth and development that really i, I think will give a comfort level for a student to join this law college we yeah, are also one added advantage for this law college is that we have nearby many courts high court we know just across the madan we have high court also we have uh, city civil court small courses court criminal court all other courts are in the same vicinity so before that only they, when they are coming to this college they are getting the feeling of uh, this uh, legal uh, practitioner part that uh, they can do into that okay next question is is the student industry ready after completion of course from kc law college from kc law as college as you mentioned earlier like there are csr activity there are internship so i mean how that will help uh, to them after completion of the law the, that will be i feel they will be industry ready after finishing the course from this college the reason being is i feel that first thing we are not focusing only on the theoretical knowledge which is imparted in the classroom teaching and mainly focusing on the curriculum we go beyond the curriculum where we try to give them exposure of other things also which will be useful to them once they finish their law degree for example i can say that uh, we give them numerous various uh, i would say moot court activities okay. where we give them a mock trial mock court is there where they can and case is given to them where the students they have to come and argue like as as if they are arguing the matter before the court of law in front of the judges so the setup is given to the students to, to get a feeling and also apart from this i would say there are may, many many other co curricular and extra curricular activities for their growth and development like uh, elocution debate and uh, quiz okay. constitution and all other issues which really help them despite that we also have uh, drafting pleading and convincing which i feel is an integral part of our profession which is taught to them not only as a part of curriculum we go beyond that where we have certificate courses for the students to give them first hand on training to learn about this aspect so that tomorrow when they are into the court they can learn the things okay we give them certificate courses where we are telling them how you have to file a case before the court how you have to draft a bail application what are the process what is the procedure required for that so these things are also taught so i feel i think we don't stick to the curriculum we go beyond the curriculum so that they are trained for the tomorrow once they enter into the legal profession and do we uh, take student to the industrial visit as such yes we do take the students for the various visits like uh, jail is there i court is there yes 
लाइक वी हैव हाई कोर्ट विजिट वी हैव सिटी सिविल कोर्ट विजिट वी हैव स्मॉल कोर्सेज विजिट वी ऑल्सो हैव क्लाइंट दैट इज बेसिकली एड लॉयर्स चैम्बर विजिट वेयर द स्टूडेंट विल गो एंड सेट एंड सी हाउ लॉयर इज इंटरक्टिंग विद द क्लाइंट एंड वॉट क्वेश्चन आर पुट एंड हाउ दे आर गिविंग द कम्फर्ट टू द क्लाइंट so these all the visits are given police station visit is given to the student okay okay not only this we go also for other like tribunals we take uh, students uh, for pollution control board income tax authorities and other places okay. where they can have a feel about the system how it is functioning Okay. in our society so this uh, industrial visit happen in mumbai only not outside mumbai maharashtra like no, delhi no, no. and all we the... we do take them like last time for prison we had taken them to pune okay okay uh, ortha road jail okay uh, no sorry not ortha road it is uh, pune evda evda yerwada jail ortha is here or the yerwada jail we had taken them and also once in a year we take students to delhi okay educational tour where they visit uh, पार्लियामेंट दे विजिट सुप्रीम कोर्ट दे विजिट आई एल आई इंडियन लॉ इंस्टीट्यूट दे गो ऑल्सो फॉर लॉ कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया सो दीज ऑल आर बॉडीज रिलेटेड टू आवर लीगल फील्ड वेयर दे गेट रियली अ गुड एक्सपीरियंस अबाउट द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ ऑल दीज इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड जेल ऑल्सो दे आर टेकन सो दैट दे गेट अ फीलिंग एंड दे अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम वट prisoners or under trial prisoners are facing right. where they go and draft their bail application and other issues okay they do that they do that wow so i mean so what is the importance of practical training in law practical training is an uh, essential component of our curriculum and it is given uh, drafted by the university of mumbai and practical components basically practical training where we are teaching students about uh, this drafting pleading and convincing mm-hmm. we also t- uh, take uh, this moot court regularly for the students so when we are talking about this then for third year we have a compulsory moot court okay where they have to case law is given to them there they have to come and argue okay the matter maybe on uh, plaintiff side or uh, defendant side but they have to come and argue they have to prepare the brief they have to come and argue and accordingly then they are uh, trained so practical training is very important because just curriculum part will not help because the actual reading of the book and the real picture outside the college in the field is different right, so right. these things are taught through this course Obviously, so that they have they are acquainted with the things book is knowledge is different and the practical is all together yeah. different right <laughs> next question i hope all the aspirant those who are watching this uh, podcast this video curious about to listen it that is the placement what are the placement uh, we get when we come to the uh, kc law college when we take the admission in the kc law college what are the companies comes and what are the highest average package they get yes we we have very active uh, placement cell in the college we have a placement committee yes we okay. have a placement cell under the guidance of our teachers okay uh, and of course few students are also joining that committee as per their interest okay. and how we go about this then we ask the cvs from we invite the cvs from the students okay they submit their cvs and after that we like a mediator then we approach to the law firms advocates and companies okay and uh, we have a placement drive in a uh, year okay generally we keep after january or february so by that time they are about to finish placement drive after january second february. year or okay. third year okay yeah so in the placement i maybe once or twice as per the uh, uh, what to say like demand or request from the students mm-hmm. we do arrange this placement drive where companies advocates law firms will come over here and the students their cvs we submit to the companies and law firms and then they take the interviews for the students and then they select okay so company comes here or we have to go to the company no they come over here sometimes some law firms or companies they prefer just to send the cvs to them instead of coming over here and then they take interviews over there that facility also we provide if required but we prefer if it is in the campus okay so it is more convenient for the students and uh, the comfort level is there because this is actually interview process mm-hmm. the whole process so the ease it happens over here so this happened with the first year student or the final year of Uh, we we prefer generally second year and third year okay, students mainly year. focusing for third year who are about to pass out from the college okay 
and, and uh, as package you were asking like this year uh, i will share with you this year we had a good placement drive in the college just few months back and we got uh, placed uh, our students who ever applied uh, for this and maximum package was 6 lakhs highest uh, is 6 lakhs highest okay. is 6 uh, and uh, lowest side it is 3 lakhs okay that uh, is annual yeah annual of okay. course and then uh, we get uh, law firms there are many many law firms the companies like this year we had jsw and law firms if i talk about we had singania lexicon and uh, strategy law partners like that many more they had visited this year only and next year we want to Uh, involve more companies and law firms okay for this so okay. that more students can get the advantage okay okay so placement wise you don't have to worry there are other companies who comes for the interviews and you can go uh, out the campus also for the placement and placement wise is a decent average package the highest is the 6 and the average package is nothing but the 3 lakhs and uh, do we provide internship for the first year student we provide internship to the students if they ask for but there is a limitation for internship the reason being is uh, uh, the bar council of india rule talks about that internship should be given only during the vacation time okay okay so we cannot have throughout the year we okay. can provide them we help them rather or assist them for getting that internship but only during the vacation period not when we are having regular classes okay okay Yeah so there are various options after finishing this law degree uh the first one is as you all know that uh, the students can join for judiciary and we all know that uh, as there is a dearth of judges in the various levels of courts if you talk about so i think they should think about judiciary and uh, at the entry level that we have jmfc they can appear for the this exam after finishing this law degree and they can be appointed directly as a judge for the court not only this even if they have a practice of 7 years or 10 years then they can join as a higher judiciary or even uh, as a judge of the high court and then further elevation to the supreme court and also i think even not only this they can uh, get some constitutional post also with this law degree help after the, after having experience after having yeah after having required number of experience they can think of Uh, the procedure is there which they need to follow but first option is definitely about the judiciary and i think i also focus more on that that they should join this judiciary as we require uh, judges uh, for our this system mm-hmm. and not only that uh, this thing they can also join as an arbitrator consultant mm-hmm. these 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 things are also important uh, once you finish the degree as uh, we all are academics academicians so for this side also once they finish of course after this they have to finish the master degree and then also net exam phd then they can join mm-hmm. this academic side where uh, they can uh, be into the teaching side and uh, gradually they can reach to the director principal level mm-hmm. and also further to the vice chancellor of some university mm-hmm. so second option is that academic side another field is uh, quite catchy i think for students is corporate side right right that is just immediately after doing your law you can uh, join some corporate side there they gave nowadays very good uh, pay package mm-hmm. that really attracts i think uh, students so there they get a good exposure and in due course there also the growth of the mm-hmm. uh, candidate is really very good mm-hmm. but they have to put efforts for that then we all know that uh, advocates uh, solicitor if they give solicitor exam they can become solicitor they can become advocate they can join some law firm there they can continue corporate field is there also in some government sectors banks also we have law officers right right and if you see in today's time the trend is every uh, officer every government office every department also wants to have a legal cell right and legal cell you will be a great uh, this in i think uh, help for that mm-hmm. and you can join that uh, legal cell mm-hmm. and you can share your uh, experience your uh, knowledge which you gain during the course 
and continue with that and there also you have a very good growth of your career right right for banking i think there is a ibps so specialist officer exam is there yes yes, yes. yes. so those who want have a you know law background they can write this exam they can get into the banking sector and they get higher rank than you know po yes, that level so they get right. yeah, they get directly skill too now it is many students are after you know three years law preparation joining the coaching like us and they are coming for the training purpose or you know prepare helping other students for the entrance examination like clat cet and all so this is again another option you can think about yes uh, <laughs> right audio jungle so guys lots of information we have discussed in this video and uh, those who are coming to kc targeting for the kc after uh, through your mh law ct score or the examination start preparing well for the ct and uh, ma'am have discussed lots of information with regards to the law courses placement who should go for the law and uh, what are the internship option available okay and the industrial visit as well so once again ma'am thank you for all this information and this will be surely helpful for all the viewers all the aspirants those who are targeting for the ct and seeking admission in kc law college audio jungle